Classroom analyzing two documents today. Comparing and contrasting. So it looks like we have here a, a letter, mm -hmm. and it looks like here we have more of a um, statement. So let's start here. Okay. Um, you know, right away we have Dear Editor, so we know that this probably appeared in the newspaper. Definitely. Um, we're talking about possibly Tennessee. Um, one thing that's screaming out at me is the Butler Act. Yes. So. What do we th so this is probably I'm gonna have to guess the 20s. Yep, um, we're talking about you know in Tennessee and the Butler Act is referring to the teaching of evolution in schools, banning in public it. schools, banning, banning the teaching course. of evolution in public schools. So before we get into that, let's let's see what this woman had to say about it. All right, so dear editor, when the bill the Butler Act against the teaching of evolution in public schools was passed, I could not see why more mothers were not thanking the lawmakers. They were protecting our children from one of the destructive forces which will destroy our civilization. I, for one, was grateful that they stood up for what was right and grateful, too, that we have a Christian man for governor who will defend the word of God against this so-called science. The Bible tells us that the gates of hell shall not win against the church. We now there will be always be those who set an example of the cross of Christ. But in these times of materialism, I thank God deep down in my heart for everyone whose voice is raised for humanity and the coming of God's kingdom. Mrs. Jesse Sparks, Pope, Tennessee. So it seems like we have something reoccurring again. It seems like we have religion against science. Yeah. That, which has played out in the past. Yes. So uh, to understand Miss Jesse Sparks, Pope, from Tennessee, we kind of have to understand Tennessee. Right. And Tennessee is a part of the Bible Belt yep. of the United States. Um, Bible Belt stretches from Georgia out into the, the panhandle of Oklahoma. And, and Tennessee is part of this deeply, deeply religious people um, who border on fundamentalism. Border on belief that the, that the Christian Bible is the end-all be-all when it comes to everything. Especially in this particular instance, creationism. The yes. whole idea of, uh, you know, man was uh, created, God created man. Whereas, Book of Genesis, Adam and Eve. Genesis, whereas, you know, evolution, which is what they're indicating here, is that man had evolved from a much, much more simpler form. Evol yeah, Darwin's theory Darwin's of evolution. Darwin's theory of evolution. So that's what, and obviously when you look here, this woman seems to be in favor of what is read in the Bible. Yes. Whereas what's going on in schools or is about to go on in schools is, is the teaching of evolution. Yes. So she's pretty much, you know, against the whole idea of evolution being taught in schools. Um, she's not alone. Um, it seems like others are also thanking lawmakers as well. Mm -hmm. You know, but this is definitely certainly an issue where you could see that people are going to be somewhat divided over it. Very divided. Very divided over it. All right, so now let's see. Here, you know, right away here, you know, again, we're in, let's see, this one doesn't give a date, but, you know, probably right around the same time. We're yep. talking July 1925. And the source here is going to be AFT resolutions. Now, AFT, you know, which is going to be broken down right here in the, in the right in the beginning of this source is the American Federation of Teachers. So the largest teacher union in, in, the, United, in the United States. Yeah. So now we're going to get kind of their take on it. So. The American Federation of Teachers is deeply concerned about the effect of the Tennessee anti-evolution law. Teaching has been menaced by misguided legislative authority that fears to trust the intelligence, the public spirit, and the devotion of teachers. As teachers, we especially fear that the effect of the present wave of intolerance in education on the task of providing the schools with enlightened teachers, without freedom, of, without freedom in the intellectual life and without the inspiration of uncensored discovery and discussion, there could ultimately be no scholarship, no schools at all, and no education. So they seem to be, they, they want it being taught. They want to have that choice. And they're also stating some other fears they have. Hey, if, if, if it's not allowed, this is what we're fearing right here. You know, no scholarship, the whole idea of no creativity and no education at all. And, and the American Federation of Teachers, along with many people who were um, anti-Butler Act, were not against the teaching of creationism in, right. in the story of the Judeo-Christian Judeo -Christian Bible. They were against including evolution. 
giving students more options, allowing students to come to their own conclusions, as opposed to indoctrinating them into only one form of, of belief, of one form of education. You know, and again, this is 1925. You know, we're almost 100 years ago. I don't think something like the Butler Act could get passed today. I wonder if it could. Um, we live in a country that is much more diverse, right. that is much more inclusive of other religions. It's one of those things that it's still, from what I know, and you know, not the lawyer, I think it's pretty much still in the books. <laughs> it's just not enforced. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, like you can't walk a car down the street in Boston right. on it's, a Tuesday. It's one, of those thi- one it's, of those. It's, it's one of those things where it's just really, it's yeah. not like strictly enforced because, you know, somebody did actually test this out where, you know, again, the Scopes trial, that's what's going on John in the background Scopes. here. He goes and teaches it. On purpose. On purpose. Gets arrested. Because he wants to test it. Because um, he, he's kind of like representing, you know, the, the, the teacher's union was kind of pushing him to it. He was a substitute teacher. Um, winds up getting arrested. It goes to court. Um, and he winds up paying a hundred dollar fine. Yeah, and you, it really sees a creation of like two different Americas. Yep. You see the the more urban, educated, um, progressive, I was just gonna think and a, a, against the more rural theologian, theological side. Almost of Jeffersonian life. versus Hamilton. Yeah, I guess you know, so science against religion, industry against the. Yeah, I, I mean. I, I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking about you know laws that are being passed today against teachers. Oh yeah. You know things saying teachers can say this, they can't say that, um, and that's one of those things that are, that's constant. You know, it's not, it's it's obviously yeah. you know when we look at 2022, what's going on? It's it's obviously nothing new. Maybe maybe the subject matter right. has changed what sure. you can and can't teach about over the last hundred years, but but there are always going to be politicians and lawmakers who are trying to restrict. Um, how teachers teach. Right. And then, of course, even when you're looking at, at schools and what's going on, it does tell you a lot about what's going on in society as well. Yep. Um, this is interesting ones. Anything else we need on this? No. All right, great. Thanks for watching.